I always say that I'm not here to give you directions. Do this and do that and you'll be fine. I am here to teach you how to fish. I will not give you fish, but to teach you how to fish. Uh, most people uh, in class, at times when I uh, listen to some of the questions that I ask, I laugh. Why? Because uh, I know spiritually they are not building themselves spiritually. Uh, they are not that, they are like babies, okay? They are like babies. So most of the things you see that they want to be spoon feed, but I'm not here to spoon feed you. I'm here to make sure that uh, you are able to do it yourself and do it better. If it is beyond you and you, want, you need my assistance and you come, I will be glad to help you free of charge. I'll be glad to help you free of charge. Whatever that you have to get to maybe accomplish whatever that you are going through, that one, when you get it, um, with the help of the Holy Ones, I will do it for you without taking a personal from you. I am here to serve each and every one of you. So to all my students in class, who are in class today, um, please, for the sake of your colleagues, those who don't understand the Ghanaian language, I will urge that you all uh, put your heads together and come up with uh, comments or questions that will give them vividly understanding of this whole uh, chakra that we are going to discuss. Today we will look at the definition of chakra and then um, God willing, uh, next week, Tuesday, we will look at the, other, the rest of the chakras as well. Now, when we talk about chakra, okay, let me first of all give you that we have seven types of chakras. Okay, we have seven types of chakras. Uh, and as we are moving uh, ahead, you understand these chakras and how they really, really operate, and then it will go a long way to help you. I believe if uh, you are watching, you can share so that your, your friend at home or your sister at home can also enjoy these uh, educative uh, lectures. Uh, normally when I come, I'm here to impart in you something that you can pass it on to your uh, family as well, not necessarily uh, you alone, but even in time to come, you'll be able to pass it on f to generations upon, uh, to generations like our predecessors did for us. And we are now enjoying uh, herbs. Why? Because they started practicing herbs. They started understanding the language of herbs. And now they have passed it on to us. And as a result of that, understanding the language of herbs have become so much easier. Why? Because of technology. With just a phone, you'll be able to know what kind of plant it, it is and what you can do with this and everything that surrounds from the root uh, to the leaf or to the flowers of it, it gives you all those details for you to understand. Now, uh, when we talk about chakra, uh, someone will ask, uh, Reverend Chakra, are you talking about chakra? What do you mean by chakra? Okay, um, for this, uh, please get this uh, image for me. You see, the whole human system where the veins are going to we have red and then blue veins can you get it and put it on the screen so that i can explain things to them very well then they will understand where what i mean by uh, chakra now uh, imagine a network of rivers flowing around the body there are various points where this network cross over okay there are various points where these ne networks cross over we don't it's not just seven chakras that we have we have more than seven chakras but uh, basically uh, the, the the seven are very very known to most people or they are very known due to their very very active uh, uh, their very very activeness in terms of our daily activities and how they help us to heal ourselves so uh, we will talk about the seven, but as we are moving ahead, you realize we have more, not just the seven. So, uh, a chakra is uh, like a river body where they cross or they meet, maybe one or two meets over there, and then 
that is what we call chakra and then they have a purpose that they do uh, a chakra is any location where two or more nebis when we talk about nebis nebis is simply like uh, the definition of nebis is simply river bodies like river bodies okay like streams uh, like um, where things are connecting okay where things are connecting for instance if flights are connecting here and there okay that is what i mean so where they cross over they cross over so uh, example of that is uh, the human structure whereby you have the the whole human uh, structure as in physical standing there no not this not this get me the human structure showing the veins showing the veins okay showing the veins that is what i want please now uh, you may need to let go of a person's situation or event that is causing you harm in some way now uh, in chakra in chakra for you to uh, make sure that your chakra is very balanced you need to let go of certain situations at times uh, holding on to situations that are not necessary can uh, affect your chakra it can affect your chakra big time okay so you need to let go of these situations so if you are watching me and uh, today is your first time of uh, being in the click english class uh, please uh, i will urge you that uh, you take it seriously and then try and understand everything that i'm explaining to you uh, bit by bit i'm not rushing i'm taking my time uh, please are we are we on youtube yes. we're on youtube Okay, so if you are watching on YouTube, um, it's Click TV um, on YouTube. Facebook is also Click TV. And then um, for those of you whom, due to the nature of your work, uh, the app has been restored. The radio app has been restored. Uh, very soon you can watch the TV and everything from the app. So those of you at home or at work that you can't have access to watch me live, you can listen to me wherever you are. Just go to Google Play Store and download the click radio app when you download it uh, you'll be able to listen and uh, get yourself updated with some of the teachings that have happened here or some of the lectures that have gone on in this house and to go a long way to help you now let's proceed change even for the best can cause pain and often requires a lot of effort if it is important to remember that each of us is made up of biometric, uh, biomagnetic energy field. So at times there are certain changes or changes in our lives that we make or we decide that, oh, let me decide and do this. For instance, I used to have this ha bad habit of smoking, okay? Uh, from morning to evening, I could finish like six packs of uh, cigarettes. Aside uh, other things, that, uh, the weed that I was also smoking as well. As well. Now, uh, basically, it was affecting me. Okay, it was affecting me. It got to a point whereby I realized it wasn't too well for me, so I need to put an end to it. So what did I do? I changed yes i changed from smoking to non-smoker okay i was a smoker and i had to go through a, a serious intensive self-discipline okay to repair these chakras that we are going to talk about now the nebis that i'm talking about as you can see uh, on the screen we have um, a diagram sh indicating veins okay these veins when you look on the map or the world map wherever you see river or you see lake they look just like the veins that you are seeing on your, you have on your screen now okay they look like these veins and where these veins okay they meet one or two of them meet exactly from the crown from the head to the bottom where they meet is where you can locate the very very seven known chakras so as 
we are talking about if you hear nebis uh, don't be so confused that uh, what is nebis and then you start looking into dictionaries and other things for it no uh, this nebis are part of our uh, system and they are the spiritual aspect of our life now what we are going to learn today the diagram you have over there uh, we are not going to discuss the physical aspect of it but the spiritual aspect of what we have on the screen that is what uh, chakra is all about chakra is about the spiritual side of the physical being that we have okay how you can make an impact in your spiritual uh, being to have effect on this physical uh, body that we have most people don't know how to make such impact but remember that you can do that depending on the kind of self-discipline or the kind of uh, uh, disciplinary situations that you put yourself through can make you receive this kind of uh, breakthrough for your chakras to work or balance very well for you why because you have this biomagnetic energy field in you and as a result of this biomagnetic energy field this is why uh, you are able to uh, uh, an energy is able to attach itself to you for instance uh, i always say that before you can solve a solution you can have a solution to an issue first of all you need to understand the meaning of the uh, issue that has been presented to you uh, the name uh, the angles where you can take them from to make sure that you really really uh, have the understanding of it so for instance talking about uh, spiritual magnetism most people call it spiritual marriage but the real name is spiritual magnetism so if for instance you go to a, a spiritual site and then you type in spiritual marriage you, you will get a different solution okay to that which when you apply you definitely not get the answer to whatever that uh, you are resolving so if someone has come to you with uh, spiritual magnetism or uh, the person has magnetism her, a spirit has attached itself to the person and then you you call me on phone and tell me oh uh, can you help me uh, someone has spiritual marriage i might think that the person is a nun okay a roman sister those ones are they are married to christ okay they are married to christ those ones are the spiritual marriage but in terms of the ones that when you sleep and then you find yourself being uh, abused by uh, a spirit or a demon, that one is spiritual magnetism. And it is caused, okay, because we have this biomagnetic energy field in us. They are able to pass through this biomagnetic energy field to have access to us. And all these are possible as a result of the chakras that we have in us. So if the chakras are very active there's no way uh, an energy a, a, a demon or bad energy can have its way through you to uh, disturb your peace the energy system activates when we interact with others so as i am sitting here with you uh, my chakras okay my chakras are activating some of the things um if not for the jargons and everything that I have to let you know, uh, automatically I can just start lecturing you from A to Z. Why? Because once we start interacting, everything that I've studied about the chakra keeps on coming, keeps on coming uh, one after the other. As soon as you finish with section one, section B comes automatically. So uh, that is how it is. For instance, uh, this biomagnetic energy field which uh, basically uh, we are talking about the chakras when you you find yourself in an environment whereby uh, the people there are not that positive mindset their mindset is not that positive towards you it's going to have an impact on you how will it have an impact on you uh, when they begin to talk about you uh, one way or the other you might hear and when you hear you will not be too comfortable to be around that side or when you find yourself in an environment where you feel that you are under attack something can easily happen to you uh, 
maybe you find yourself among robbery, uh, robbery situation and uh, you need to get yourself out of there. Uh, it makes it very uncomfortable for you, okay? At that moment, because you are interacting with others who are having bad energies, it is going to affect you uh, big time. It's going to affect you big time. So mostly, uh, the kind of people you interact with are very, very important, especially um, when it comes to um, sexual intercourse. When it comes to sexual intercourse, uh, when you meet someone, uh, you, you, you have uh, mutual intercourse with someone, and then the person's spirit or the person has uh, an attack or a demonic attack that is attached to whatever he or she does. Please remember that as soon as you have that uh, intercourse, you also automatically attract that demon to yourself. Okay, you also automatically attract that demon to yourself. So you need to be careful with the people that you move with. If the people that you are moving with are people that uh, carries uh, bad energy, automatically because of this biomagnetic energy field in you, you also attract it. So it is always uh, advisable to make sure before you go to uh, you go to where uh, a lot of people are surrounded like funerals parties and other things you have to make sure that your chakras are very well balanced for you to uh, visit such places it is very very important example that our site according to the christian uh, history is when jesus was going uh, going through his normal activities daily activities whereby this lady who was bleeding for so many years uh, decided that if I could hold on to uh, his robe, I will be healed from this blood that I've been going through for so many years. And when she did, listen, when she did that, automatically, uh, because uh, Jesus Christ, according to the Christian history, his chakras were very balanced, automatically he felt that something has been taken from him. So he asked, okay, who, who has touched me? And the people were kind of amazed because then they didn't know that there's something even called chakra. But Jesus knew that uh, chakra is there. I hope you understand. So that enabled him to uh, recognize that uh, something has been taken from him. Why? Because the lady also had an idea that uh, the kind of chakra, the man's chakra are all balanced. And mine is not balanced. That is why I'm going through this kind of uh, Con uh, continuous bleeding so if I could get hold of him no matter where it is uh, I believe I will be able to balance this chakras of mine so she did that and uh, it really really helped her she did it and it really really helped her so please that is an example that I'm giving you if the chakras are very balanced no matter how it is uh, if you go to an environment where uh, they are not that good because you have a very well balanced chakra you'll be able to find a way to get yourself out of it but if your chakra is not balanced as well it can create a whole lot of tension on you and because you are you find yourself within this environment you feel very tired you feel very tired you feel anxious and then you generally you are not that good you don't feel good about anything at all at times people will tell you i'm not sick but I don't feel good, okay? I'm not sick, but I'm not, I don't feel good. It's as a result of these chakras that you have that are not well balanced. These chakras are not well balanced. And uh, as we are moving ahead and then we begin to study them one after the other in our series to come, you understand that these chakras, when they are balanced, they help you a lot. Uh, most of us, okay, we always look at the physical aspect of the human body but the most important that carries about 90 percent of our daily life is the biomagnetic energy fields that works for us anything that we are going through me sitting here today lecturing you about uh, chakra in english has already been lived before coming to sit here okay before i did the lectures in the Ghanaian language already it has already been lived before i came so most of the things we go through are things that are highly spiritual that we have been through already 
and we just have to make it manifest and making it manifest is by leaving it and by leaving it uh, if these biomagnetic energy f uh, fields that you have in you are not uh, balanced you make mistakes that can uh, lead you to so many uh, complications and you need to have that in mind for instance uh, being in a public atmosphere you may find that you become overwhelmed due to all of the energy around you so at times when you're overwhelmed it's as a result of these negative energies surrounding you okay negative energy surrounding you especially for instance um, the men uh, the men and then the women for a woman who is in her menses okay is extremely powerful humongously powerful don't joke with her uh, in that state they can do so many things in that state they can do so many things so you need to be very very careful when it comes to women in their uh, menstrual cycle okay when it comes to women in their menstrual cycle so if a woman is in a menstrual cycle and then you don't know and then you happens to that doesn't mean if a woman is in a menstrual cycle you don't have to eat her food you don't have to sleep if she is a wife you don't have to sleep on the same bed with her but please don't have sexual intercourse with her because you the man once you do that it will take huge amount of energy from you it it will imbalance all these chakras if you are having a very good uh, balanced chakra or chakras it will imbalance all for you and it will go a long way to uh, affect you so please have it in mind that uh, you know how to deal with situations when you find yourself in uh, a public environment and this the energies over there are overwhelmed some of these energies could be physical for instance maybe you find yourself in an environment where maybe you are there they, they, they are so many so much food to eat now this food that you are eating uh, can cause you a whole lot of uh, sleepless nights why because you might eat and eat and eat and when you go home you'll be having stomach ache and you can't sleep these are some of the energies that you can attract from such an environment so you need to be careful or uh, maybe you are you find yourself among smokers you don't smoke and because they smoke uh, you feel oh let me also smoke and then you also start smoking uh, by the time you come home maybe you'll be having serious mental issues and other health issues which might not be necessarily good for you so you need to take note of that uh, and it will go a long way to help you if you want to uh, these are the basics of chakras that i'm giving you before we start so that when we start with the chakras itself you will know uh, what uh, i've been discussing with you from the beginning this feeling with its negative experience can lead to physical mental and emotional ill health and that is what i said so uh, this negative energy the negative energy that you experience is could be spiritual or is spiritual uh, because uh, everything that we are doing is through this uh, magnetic energy uh, field now as a result of that whatever that you are going through it being spiritual can affect you physically for instance you having a dream of uh, having sexual intercourse with someone you don't know if you're a man can make you impotent that is one and if you're a woman uh, most women who go through that end up with fibroid why this is the situation uh, if the chakras are balanced there's no way those demons can have access to you but because they are not balanced they have access to the whole body and do whatever they want and deposit uh, their semen in you and this semen that they are depositing in you is a, is a spiritual semen and it there's no way physically it can fetter your egg for you to have babies with it so what happens it it keeps on growing in you and it's rather unfortunate uh, they have instead of attacking the elders they have started attacking even the youngest the young ones okay uh, the little ones our little ones who are who are 
barely who barely even know anything about sex they have started attacking them and it's something that uh, if you are watching and uh, you have a child uh, whether a male or a female please make sure you have these uh, some of these plants that I will tell you you have them around you to, for them to use so that their chakras will be balanced there are some elements or there are some uh, plants that cut across all the seven chakras when you use it it balances all the seven chakras for you so when we are getting there you get to know all that and uh, if you've been having that sexual intercourse every night and you are enjoying it i'm telling you especially those with the vampire uh, energy when they come and they are on you if you're a man or a woman and they are on you there's no way you feel like having sexual intercourse with your fellow human being you always prefer to have it with such a spirit okay you always want to go to bed and then have it i remember way back in school uh, we were having a discussion and then uh, we did someone mentioned that uh, could you know that uh, spirit come from the sea and then uh, sleep with us and then one of them made a funny comment that me if uh, she makes a mistakes and come i will impregnate her okay and to us it was funny then but uh, to be sincere after that comment that he made remember everything that you say that familiar spirit that waits for you at a particular point and when you get there they hit you with it uh, i met him a couple of years ago i wasn't happy with the kind of situation that he uh, he was finding himself in i wasn't happy at all why because he I, I remembered he mentioned something and it was hitting him back it was hitting him back and we need to uh, make sure of what we say so some of these things that we go through uh, this spiritual magnetism and everything most of the ladies end up with fibroid Ma most of the men become impotent or they have this uh, prostate enlargement or they even have certain uh, diseases that they run test and test and they can't even detect that this is actually wrong with you when you are experiencing that please you have to know that it is spiritual and the only way you can get rid of it is when you can balance your chakras when the chakras are balanced very very well balanced for you you can do anything possible to come out of it and it will go a long way to help you uh, please let's continue and then go to our next point getting in contact with other others can make you feel miserable this is because uh, their negative energies have been passed on to you okay you getting closer or being influenced of like peer pressure and other things so you have to watch your kids very well uh, peer pressure and other things can influence your children to do so much things uh, like smoking and other things uh, it's as a result of peer pressure okay because the kind of energy that they are bringing these are physical things that they are doing and basically out of that physical things that they are doing uh, automatically is also having a great impact on uh, the person it is not just a physical thing they are having that spiritual uh, insight of smoking or drinking or whatever it is okay so when they are doing it and then your child or your world or knowingly also gets himself involved automatically that spirit takes control so we have people that they can drink and drink and drink for a whole day without eating and then they will go to bed without food and it has been it goes on and on when if you have if you have someone of that then it means the person has gotten uh, himself or herself in contact with a familiar spirit that creates that kind of atmosphere of drinking without eating and when you drink and drink without eating remember that you are destroying your kidney and it will, uh, it will go a long way to affect you physically this is something that is affecting you spiritually if your chakras are balanced there's no way uh, you'll be drinking without eating you will drink and eat or you will not even drink at all okay so you need to have that in mind this can be termed as a vampire remember i told you about a vampire something that is feeding on you so because uh, the drinking has become a habit of you that you do it, it is feeding on your spiritual aspect it's it, it tells you 
through your mindset okay go and drink one shot go and drink two shots so as you are you continue doing it okay it is having an impact it is feeding on you it is rather uh, directing you what to do and it goes a long way to affect you spiritually because when uh, you are drunk there are things that spiritually you cannot do that is why most people get drunk and then uh, at long run they get raped at, uh, as a result why because once they are drunk the senses are not working anymore so they can't even they, they can feel that they are they are being tortured but the possibility of them being able to control themselves is impossible why because they are drunk and they are being taken ad advantage of that is how it is when these chakras are not really really balanced what happens is uh, automatically you cannot control yourself you are you've been taken over I remember um, there's someone that brought an issue to me and then I checked and when I checked it was a, a vampire issue that has taken over the situation of that person so this is what happened uh, whenever the person is there automatically the vampire takes uh, over and that's a whole lot of things and it's very very uh, rare for you to understand unless maybe you set a camera on you after that before you'll be able to realize that hey uh, this is what happens to me when i sleep if you are someone that you have a feeling that certain behaviors of yours are not normal they're a bit spiritual uh, what you can do is just get a camcorder that can record throughout the whole night uh, with modernization you can even use your phone set it somewhere and make sure it's on flight mode so that calls wouldn't disturb you and let it be on you throughout whilst you sleep cameras can capture spirits cameras can capture spirits that is why when you come here some of the things i remember at first when i come uh, some of the things i'll be very careful when i'm saying them why because the cameras that we have here can easily capture a spirit a good spirit and then a bad spirit as well so when you set it on you and these chakras are not balanced and maybe you have a vampire that comes to sleep with you at night or that comes to hypnotize you and take control of your mindset please when it as soon as it happens the camera will capture it so you'll be able to see that then you know it's not normal and then you can take uh, the necessary uh, steps as to how you can do it by uh, as uh, taking uh, or seeking the assistance of a seer okay seeking the assistance of a seer can help you resolve such issues and it, it will protect you from attracting bad energies from those that comes to you for help okay at times these vampire uh, energies or these familiar spirits that attacks us uh, are as a result of some of these people that we, inter we interact with as they maybe uh, i'm sleeping with uh, Ajua today, tomorrow I'm sleeping with a queer. It goes on and on. And each and every one of them have their uh, kind of spirit that follows them. So if I'm not careful, I'll have the spirit of a queer following me. I'll have the spirit of uh, uh, Ama following me. So it will go on and on and on. And if you're not careful, you have so many uh, spirits attacking you at a go and it will slow you down it will slow it will it will fasten these chakras that i'm talking about okay it will fasten these chakras that i'm talking about so you need to be very careful as to how you do things and the only way you can come out of it is to see a seer who will give you directions as to how uh, you can do it and there's this plant uh, can you producer can you search for rose plants okay there's this plant that works with all the chakras if they are not balanced and then you use the rose plant it balances all your chakras for you so for those of you uh, that are having difficulties uh, maybe you were in the Akan or the Ghanaian class but uh, you you don't you still don't understand how uh, these uh, chakras can be balanced please uh, the best uh, herb or flower for you to balance these chakras of yours is the rose flower it, uh, each flower and how quick it can 
balance it for you the blue one does it faster okay the blue one does it faster the black one also does it faster as well so if you get any of these rose flowers and then your chakras are not balanced enough uh, just uh, make sure you extract the medicina in those flower and then wash yourself with it maybe you can do it for seven days you can do it for nine days if you're a lady you can do it for seven days if you're a man you can do it for nine days and by the time you, you finish with it you see that you come back to your uh, spiritual awareness and certain things will be made known to you so please let's have that in mind and then it will go a long way to help us let's continue to our next point these formulas are example of burning incense candle meditation and more so as i cited uh, the spiritual bath of the rose flower there are other incenses that you can burn as well to make these chakras of yours uh, normally it shouldn't be spinning faster okay it shouldn't be speeding it should be moving slowly if it is if your chakras are moving slowly then it means you have a very balanced chakra you have a very balanced chakra but if it is moving faster 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 then you are not in uh, good uh, hands it means your chakra is now very very balanced and you need to make sure you do things that will make it move slowly and when it moves slowly it means it balance so uh, you can use these formulas uh, you can burn candles to balance your chakra you can uh, burn incense to balance your chakra you can meditate uh, for instance those of you who come to see me most often uh, at times I'll tell you okay uh, go and light a candle at home and make sure the candle doesn't uh, go off uh, maybe some of these candles can be on for a month or two I'll tell you please are you sure you can get a place where you can light this candle without it going off if you tell me yes you go with it and then you light it and it's not supposed to go off okay it's not supposed to go off all these uh, whatever that you are going through I am connecting with your chakra to give you solution to whatever it is. Um, is this rose flower? It looks like. Um, can you check again for me, please? Check for me again. Yeah. So let's go to um, whilst they are looking for the rose flower. Let's go to the next point and then uh, when you are at home or in a safe place imagine the opposite so if for instance uh, your chakras are not balanced and uh, you are going through a whole lot of difficulties please you can imagine the opposite you can start thinking positive if you don't have the candle the incense or other things around you you can start thinking positive and when you think positive uh, it will manifest itself this will increase your love and compassion for your friends and family filling the room sending joy and happiness to all around you at times you could be in an environment where the tension there is very very huge just one thing could create a whole lot of misunderstanding and to destroy the whole uh, whatever that is happening there please when it happens that way think of the opposite think of the opposite just focus on rather creating joy okay so if you find yourself in a working on environment where there's always uh, misunderstanding here and there please always think of the positive as aspect of it and then uh, it will go a long way to change whatever that it is happiness will come and once happiness comes uh, gradually the chakras will be able to balance for you so please have that in mind as well these are all basics the definitions of uh, chakras that i'm giving you ways and means how you deal with this chakra so when we start with them we we'll start with the root chakra when we start with them you will know what what it means okay you know what it means so please pay attention to them these uh, lectures very very well because it will go a long way to help you before you go into a crowd please imagine a bubble in light and energy all around you your body sealing and protecting you from harm for instance the kings the queens uh, most people the, the musicians and other things that go on stage to perform uh, 
remember, if their chakras are not well balanced, there's no way they can go. A, a king going to give a, a message, a lecturer going to lecture. If his or her chakras are not balanced, there's no way the lecturer can balance, uh, can lecture. Why? Because uh, there will be lapses or imbalance in the presentation. So when these uh, chakras of yours are balanced, the way you can amplify it is like, imagine a bubble of light, okay? Imagine a bubble of light. So when they are going on stage, they project themselves as high, as a superstar. So when they see the crowd, they know the crowd are there for them. I'm talking about the musicians, the actors, and other things. They see themselves that these people are here for me. So I need to do things that will make them happy, that will make them enjoy the show. So they go to the extra mile to do things that makes them uh, enjoy whatever that they are there for. Please remember to release this bubble by imagining it dissolve and disappear in your mind. I, when you want to relax and let go. So, uh, for instance, if you're a musician and you go on stage and then you have this bubble light uh, that is keeping you, giving you the ideas as to how to do things around, please, uh, when you are done, you can re release it because when you don't release it, it can make you a bit hyper. Yes, this is rose flower. This is rose flower, okay? So this rose flower works with all the chakras. And uh, when we get there, I will explain to you how it does. So all the chakras, this rose flower, uh, the way that the blue, the red, whatever it is, works with all the chakras. So please have it in mind and it will go a long way to help you. So when, if you're a musician and uh, you finish performing, or you are someone who is influential, you are a speaker, you're a motivational speaker, and you always use your chakras uh, by amplifying them, please, when you are done, just release it, relax for you to for, for you to calm down so that you can be of yourself. Other than that, uh, you could be a little bit hyper, which might not be good for you as well. So please have that in mind. When dealing with difficult situations such as handling confrontations with another person, imagine a thick and heavy shield has come down in front of you, providing a head protection. So at times you are fighting, uh, someone is provoking you, doing a whole lot of things just to uh, provoke you or get, get you off where you are. The best thing that uh, what I'm trying to communicate with you or I'm trying to tell you is, please, instead of uh, getting annoyed, just move from that environment, okay? Move from that environment to a calm environment and then within a short while, uh, whatever it is, will calm down will calm down no matter how it is so it will go a long way to help you so please uh, most of you your chakras are very 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 imbalanced and it goes a long way to help you and i know that wherever you are watching me uh, this lecture will go a long way to help you i have this son uh, in uh, uganda who that i saw the the tree of life on his status and then i asked him look son why I, have you started do you know about chakras and it was like no papa no i i just happens to come across it i like it and then i use it as my uh, dp and i was like well okay uh, no no don't worry when it gets there you understand because he's, he's such a young man and i didn't want to take him too deep i hope you understand so most people uh, they uh, accidentally run into uh, means of resolving chakras or means of getting to know chakras but uh, because the idea of resolving uh, these chakras are not there they don't even know what they are encountering and it can even lead them to a higher uh, disadvantage as well so please we need to have that in mind and to go a long way to help us to our next point uh, uh, please remember give it time to repeat or practice whatever you begin to notice and feel difference or when you feel like your mood is changing uh, your emotions okay mostly important of all you will not feel tiredness so if you can control your mood the mood that you are so 
someone can say, today I don't feel like seeing anybody. Uh, that is you. Well, if you don't feel like seeing anybody, being isolated could be very good. It can help to repair your chakras. Uh, or you are so emotional, you are so sensitive about certain things. If you can uh, excuse yourself, these chakras of yours that is giving you this uncomfortable situation can easily change for you to have a better result. So please have it in mind and it will go a long way to help you. You will not be tired in terms of fatigue and other things. You will not be tired. Uh, you will not feel so overwhelmed and other things. Why? Because these chakras are really, really working very well for you. So you need to have that in mind. Okay. You need to have that in mind. Now, the individual sections of each chakra may also be done in isolation if you feel that you have an imbalance in a particular chakra. So, not that uh, in most cases, some of the chakras could be working, but maybe one or two are not working. And if that one or two are not working, there's always a way that you can uh, activate it or make it work for you to be okay okay so you need to have that one also in mind so that these are the basics that i'm giving you when we start uh, the chakra uh, we start with the root chakra you know where we are coming from so you need to jot these points down it will go a long way to help you the self-awareness exercise are essential they bring an awareness of any difficulties you may be experiencing into your conscious aware awareness so that you can deal with the problem so whatever uh, issues that you are going through if your self-awareness which is part of the chakra okay or it is created by the chakra self-awareness anybody who has self-awareness that is created by the chakra so if it is you have that self-awareness and then uh, you are able to control some of the issues that come to you uh, no matter how it is, because you are, you have that uh, conscious awareness, you will come out of that problem without any difficulty. So please have it in mind. Uh, before we we'll continue, we'll take I will take a short break, but let me give you the names of these chakras that we'll be treating. Uh, God willing, next week we have the first one is the root chakra, the root chakra. That is the first one. Okay, that is the root chakra, and it's as I'm sitting. Uh, it starts from the, the bottom, the spinal cord, okay, that links to my bottom. That is where this root chakra starts from. The next one is the uh, sacral chakra, okay, and then the third one is the solar puzzles uh, chakra. The fourth one is the heart chakra. The fifth one is the throat chakra, and then the sixth one is the crown, is, sorry, is the brow chakra. And then the seventh one, which is the last one, is the crown chakra. So this is what God will in next week, after we have studied all these basics of it and as trying to understand the definition of them, God will in next week, this is what we'll be looking at. We'll be taking them one after the other, one after the other. So uh, please, those of you in the Akan class or the Ghanaian class who who are already ahead of the english class please this is what you can do you can bring in your uh, contribution and then your questions to help uh, this uh, english class to also understand more about these chakras i know you are deep but you can start with the basics as i started with you and then it will go a long way to help uh, let me take just a short break and drink water when I come back, uh, we'll look more about uh, the human uh, energy system and how you can deal with it with chakras. I'll be right back. is very known to us if today is your first time of hearing of hamatan 
uh, it's a very hazy weather when it comes everything becomes dry your lips and everything becomes dry that is the only season when it comes uh, people mothers are very happy especially those who don't have the washing machine why because when they wash clothes and then hang them within the space of 30 minutes they dry and then they can just take them in and then uh, it helps them to uh, offload their burden so uh, please have that in mind now let's continue with the human energy system remember i was talking about uh, the biomet uh, biomagnetic energy field these chakras okay uh, is connected to this human energy system in us we all have the gift of healing it is held within each and every one of us okay you can heal okay you can heal yourself i can also heal myself uh, kamala can heal himself philip can heal himself uh, whomever we are we can heal ourselves but the problem is we don't know the process or we don't understand how to use this human energy system and that is what is causing us so much trouble so much spiritual issues and most of these issues that we go through are spiritual and when spiritual issues become very intensified or chronic and you don't address them that is when it graduates to become physical okay spiritual issues when they come you tackle them and get rid of them if you don't get rid of them they will graduate to become physical which will go a long way to affect you so you need to be very very careful in order for us to assess this wonderful gift we need to understand how the human energy system works okay i've already explained this to you so uh, there's no need for me to go over again so you can uh, put this point also down the human body is made up of many parts, but what we will, uh, the, what, what we'll be lecturing today, okay, are not the parts that we learned in school, like uh, this is the vein, this is where, no, 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 no. We will be talking about, the, we are talking about the chakras, and these chakras are where these veins, uh, they meet, and mostly where they normally meet from our legs and even to our toes there are places where other veins come and meet okay those are where those manual chakras are but the higher chakras start from the waist to the crown okay and in that part uh, veins are moving all over okay they are moving all over and these are uh, we call it veins but they are called nebis nebis those are the ones we refer to as river bodies Okay, so if you are dealing with chakras and then you go and talk about veins, please, you are still talking about physical. When you use nebis, uh, wh whomever you are discussing with, uh, who understands this chakra very well, will know that you are talking about these connections where these uh, river bodies meet and then form the chakra. Okay, and it will go a long way to help you. So please, uh, put that one also down and then it can help you as well. So we are not talking about the parts like this is the vein this is no example is what i cited for you when you look on the world map or even on the ghana map you can see river bodies representing being represented by red uh, blue uh, so many colors is the same thing when it comes to this our human structure that is how these veins okay looks like and in those veins when it comes to the chakra we call them nevis we call them nevis and where one or two meets that is where you can find these wonderful chakras okay that is where you can find this wonderful chakra so as is on the screen uh, the the veins are there uh, you can see that it's just like the one uh, in in your favorite uh, world map or your country map how water uh, uh, water is represent in or presented in these uh, maps of ours is the same thing that you are witnessing here so uh, please take note of that so that uh, when uh, someone is discussing something with you or asks a question as a student in uh, click telegram class and talks about maybe you know that it's, uh, it's 
or about the, the river bodies in our system that uh, generates or forms this uh, chakras of ours so please you need to understand all this before we go deeper and it will go a long way to help you now moving forward the physical body is what we all know about which specialist uh, the specialist of it is a doctor when we are ill so when this physical body is ill that is what most people think about oh uh, this sickness you need to go and see the doctor because you are ill uh, mostly mostly at uh, times it's not necessary uh, being a ailment that you have to see a doctor it is an ailment that you have uh, uh, received as a result of encounter with a demon or uh, an energy that is a bit negative and it has have it is having an impact in uh, your spiritual being which is manifesting physically so test and other things will be run on you but nothing can be seen so please uh, Let's take note of that and then it will go a long way to help us. Uh, when we are injured physically, the body immediately aff is affected. There has been trauma to the physical body. So, for instance, if I have a knife and by us accidentally I happens to cut myself, uh, I'll go through pains, okay? I will go through pains. Those are the physical ones that we are talking about. And when it happens to, so, it's a doctor that will come and stitch it for me. Those are physical injuries. Okay, as we have physical injuries, we have spiritual injuries as well. And as we are moving forward, we will understand all these. So please pay attention and then follow the lectures very, very well. Uh, gradually, you will understand it for those of you in the English class. This physical ailment matches the, person's, uh, uh, the person affected. If you are a person under extreme stress, you may develop heart problems. So you see, uh, uh, most people are easily quick-tempered. Such people develop pressure and other things, okay, uh, which are not good for you. They become problem for you or problematic for you if you are always stressing yourself. That is why you need not to live life that will please others but live life to please yourself live life that will make you happy nobody can make you happy except yourself nobody can make you happy except yourself so do things that will make you happy do things that will make you happy and don't stress yourself over things at times uh, i remember at a point i overstressed myself and then i i, I, I had to catch a flight and then uh, I got to the airport and I realized I was late as a result of stress okay then I could say that my chakras were not balanced they were not balanced so uh, some of the things that I was doing were affecting my uh, physical activities as well because I was overstressing myself so instead of maybe thinking that I have to be at the airport to do my checking early and other things I was thinking about issues that were not going to benefit me but at the long run when it came physically i missed my flight and then i had to uh, re uh, i have to check in with another airline as well so that i can get to my destination so you need to understand all this that things that happens to you emotionally or the stress that goes through your heart and other things can give you pressure or give you heart diseases which will be very very difficult for you to get rid of now let's talk about the body emo uh, emotionals okay uh, the emotionals body this is where our connection to our thoughts feelings and emotions lies if we experience negative thoughts and emotions or if we are around too many negative people then then damage often occurs I did explain this during the first presentation so there's no need for me to uh, explain into details for you let me take that point again so that you can write it down the emotional body this is where our connection uh, connection to our thoughts feelings and emotions lies 
if we experience negative thoughts and emotions or if we are around too many negative people then damage often occurs i've explained this already so please uh, take your time and then write it down and it will go a long way for you to understand uh, what we'll be treating next week okay for you to understand what we'll be treating next week so please take uh, very note of that now for those of you in the united kingdom those of you in u.s wherever you find yourself abroad please you need not to come all the way to ghana to purchase uh, products from mama vic now hidden hands hat uh, they are based in the united kingdom and if you order from them and you are in germany wherever you are within uh, a day or two you will receive your parcel so you need not to come all the way to ghana whereby it can take two weeks at times a month or two before you receive your medicine meanwhile remember that you are so much in need of it that is why you have requested for it so you need not to come all the way down to ghana to purchase all these ones uh, we have the p life bitters we have the pico flesh we have the spiritual and physical soup the physical and spiritual cream we have the hair glue we have the white uh, uh, cream as well for those who are experiencing white the ladies for instance there are some men who also have white as well you can also uh, purchase that and then it will help you get rid of it and then if you are going through certain issues and you think they are beyond you please you can also uh, try and get the green leaves which uh, all you need is garlic and then you add it to it and bath with it uh, spiritual bathing are very very important spiritual bathing are very very important all these chakras that i'm talking about uh, if you are able to balance it spiritually it goes uh, bath take if you're able to take your spiritual bath very well it goes very uh, well to balance it for you so please uh, you need to take note of that you need not to come to ghana you can contact any of these numbers on your screen and uh, they will respond to you and wherever you are they will make sure you get uh, any of the products the, what i recommend for you is the uh, the p life herbal tea it is very very good uh, since morning all i've taken is just lit uh, coffee and i'm sitting here and then in the afternoon i took the herbal tea and that is all that is all and it will take me till tomorrow so if you are someone that uh, you really really your work is very tedious it take you spend more hours with work please what i recommend for you is the uh, p life herbal tea it will help you a lot to have a lot of energy or gain a lot of energy uh, please let's move on from healing has heart let's come back to our chakra points uh before we left I, I was saying something now let's continue when this happens we feel tired and lack enthusiasm and energy for life that is when uh, these negative entities and other things come in contact with us we feel very tired now the mental body represents our logical self this is the rational part of ourselves this is the part which is engaged when we take part of we take part in rational debates and discussions i've already explained this uh, during the uh, during my introduction so i'm only reading them so that you can get the points down now remember the mental body represents our logical self this is the rational part of ourselves this is the part which is engaged when we take part in rational debates and discussion okay so if uh, you happens to be in a very serious uh, argument or discussion with someone this normally happens when maybe you tune into your tv station and then you have two people one from the other side and the other uh, this one from the other side discussing the same issue each and every one of them have their own uh, idea concerning the same issue okay and that is uh, some of this this that is the mental the mental body and these are the physical rational things that you see and it has its spiritual 
aspect of it that is the chakra aspect of it so as we are moving ahead you understand most of them now let's look at the astral body as well uh, now in chakras okay we have as we have the mental body relating to chakras we have astral body also relating to chakras and as we are moving ahead we will know some of these astral uh, bodies that are related to these uh, wonderful chakras of ours uh, and which of the chakras that these uh, astral bodies are related to okay uh, for instance there are hundreds of beautiful stars that are related to the chakras and we will get to know that god willing next week now it is also known as the ura or the ethic double so i always talk about having a bad ura around you Ura is a good energy, okay? It's a good energy. If you have it, it goes a long way to help you. But if you're unfortunate and then you happen to have the bad one, uh, I'm sorry for you because uh, everything that you do will be negative. Will be negative. So you need to be very careful uh, 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 as well. The Astra is made up of a biomagnetic energy field. So you see, we uh, we brought back to the same biomagnetic energy field that is built in we humans as well. So the astra that we all know, it also it is also built with biomagnetic energy fields, and we humans have it. That is why we are able to connect with this astra energies to achieve our spiritual purposes. Okay we are able to connect with them to achieve our spiritual purposes like for instance if you want to use uh, something like the sun whatever that it is you can use it to achieve your spiritual purpose and because you have a connection with that uh, energy you have a connection with that energy so please have that in mind to grant the astral body it is connected to the physical body by an extended cord at the modular Astral projection or travel can occur when we are in a relaxed and calm state. Uh, most of the times, you can be in Ghana, uh, but within a few minutes, you find yourself in the U.S. And anything that is happening there, you can come back and tell them this, this and that and that and that happened. Uh, and people will begin to wonder, why are you a witch or wizard? No, if you are able to mastermind this, your astral projection, you can travel to so many places your physical body will be here but the soul okay will move and all this you can do this as a result of you having a very balanced chakra so please take note of that and then uh, the next point we'll be bringing our uh, lectures to an end very very soon uh, exactly 10 will be closing uh, this can happen during guide meditation uh, hypnosis and more uh, hypnosis is something that you need to be very very much careful it's something that if you are not careful and you are hypnotized uh, it can go a long way to affect you so you need to be very very careful when it comes to this especially with your chakras this is our connection to our higher self or spiritual plane so as i am saying the astra and all that that i've been explaining to you connects us to our higher or our spiritual planes and all these spiritual planes you can connect to it as a result of your chakras okay as a result of your chakras so please bear it in mind the intuitive body the intuitive body first of all we talk about the mental body we talk about the astral body and now we are talking about the intuitive body that is your intentions what you think this layer contains of our intuitive thoughts feelings and emotions so whatever that you you are thinking about okay it's also part of the chakra it's also part of the chakra so uh, you need to be very careful what you think of because what you think of can affect your chakra it can affect your chakra so you need to be very very careful uh, as to what you think about and it will go a long way to help you uh, for instance, uh, knowing 
what to do extension forces stop us uh, knowing very well how nature can help you can elevate but religion and other bodies prevent us for instance if I use rose water I can easily balance my chakras and then I'll be free but at the same time the kind of religion that I find myself in tells me that if I use herbs it means I'll go to uh, hell if I use herbs I will go to hell so in this case please am I doing any good to myself am I doing any good to myself I don't think so I'm rather uh, condemning myself because there are so many ways that I can use to get breakthrough of whatever that I'm going through to balance these chakras that I'm having but as, as a result of my religion I find it difficult to accept okay to accept that using maybe rose flower can help me uh, balance all my chakras so these are the intuitive uh, body so the kind of religious body that you find yourself in can also affect you very very much so you need to be very careful and you need to be very careful of the kind of doctrine you listen to there are so many doctrines happening out there but for you to get the original or the secrets that has been the hidden ones that has been uh, kept from you for long you need to be very careful as to what you listen to because those ones they don't sound appealing okay as i'm sitting here what i'm giving you is something that uh, later later when you play the video or you listen to it you are listening to me on the click radio app or click tv you, you realize that later on when you play it and then you understand it deeply you will know that oh uh, not knowing we we're having such great uh, impartation but we did not know this is a great impartation that i'm giving to you free of charge so you need to uh, make sure you are understanding it if you don't understand anything put your questions across because exactly 10 o'clock i'll be ending today's lectures now as a result of this religious bodies that we find ourselves in can cause us panic sentence you to a serious thinking as to it being good or bad so uh, at first when people use herbs they were considered as people who are going to hell okay they were considered as people who are going to hell but herbs in everything that we do as humans uh, herbs we can't do away with our herbs so we need to be very very uh, mindful of the kind of doctrine we listen to yes you can belong to a religious body but be careful so that you don't fall a victim to some of these things because most of them want to dominate you so they, they hide these good things from you so that they can dominate you all the time and that is what i am preventing i want you to be a master of yourself a king of yourself so please take note of these lectures very very well you can play it over and over and then write down your notes it will go a long way to help you because what when next week tuesday when i come i am starting with the root chakra and there's no way i will chip in any of this introduction to it i am introducing you to the chakra so there's no way i will do that i'll just go straight 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 to it and uh, you need to have that in mind uh, before we continue i have few comments here from facebook um let me uh, read them and then acknowledge them so that uh, we'll continue from uh, Pearl Charton he says please share for more views oh okay uh, every good thing uh, comes in a way in, in disguise every good thing comes in disguise and it's only few people who will receive it and those peop few people will become kings and queens over the majority so please uh, don't worry about that uh, it is better for few people to be in class so that uh, those who are lazy to uh, use their time judiciously to learn uh, or rather want to do something with it uh, at the end of the day uh, they can come to you and then seek help and then you dominate them so please uh, if you're in class take it very careful and then uh, take note of whatever that i'm teaching you from rebecca gubi um, she says tell me more so Rebecca I'm 
basically what I'm trying to say is uh, all that about chakras that we are going to discuss next week we are starting with roots chakra and uh, and more I wouldn't come back to the introduction all I'm giving you is introdu uh, introduction of chakras uh, introduction of chakras so that w so when I mention that this chakra this is how you do it this is the element that goes with this chakra this is how you can uh, activate it when it's in balance you understand it and then from Teresa Yeboah well done dear and with love thank you Teresa Yeboah uh, I really really appreciate all of you coming to class uh, I really really appreciate all of you coming to her. from Walid Mohammed it's a good evening family good, good evening uh, Walid and then from Gloria AJ my lovely daughter with more love with more love thank you for coming to class uh, I learned you've not been coming to telegram class uh, you did, you need to go there and then let your uh, class prefect know that you are around else they will uh, sanction you so that is it if you are in uh, any of the classes whether whatsapp or telegram please uh, you need to make yourself known over there or else very soon uh, they will get rid of you and you will not have access to the telegram again unless you reapply to be part of it okay which will not be beneficial to you please so have that in mind have that in mind now let's continue uh, as we're talking about sentencing yourself to thinking and uh, it being good or bad uh, the next one is uh, most of the times you uh, you feel because you ignore the good things that you can do to make your life better when you apply maybe rose flower or rose water to your life, it can change so many things, but the kind of doctrine that you are listening to tells you that is bad. So you ignore it and you keep on going through the same uh, situation, which is no good. So please take note of these points that I'm telling you, because during the main uh, presentation, uh, those are the things that we'll be working with. And then the next one is the casual body the casual body when i talk about the casual body next week you should know what i'm talking about is where our spirit uh, spiritual essence and higher self is found okay it contains information of uh, whom we are or really are and all that can hope to achieve so uh, whom we are or what we are really are and what we can really achieve is what this casual body does okay and it's, it is highly spiritual so please take note of that and then the next one is the energy flows the energy flows uh, just like the river body that we see you see that blood is flowing through these nibbles okay and the kind of energy that flows through the, these nibbles are not just blood okay they are not just blood but they are supernatural uh, energies or river beds that enable us to uh, activate this or balance these chakras uh, energy flows through the body in so many channels called nabels nabels that is n a d i s nabels uh, this is a a word meaning river bed this is a word ri meaning river bed remember i said this during uh, my earlier introduction at the beginning so uh, most of you should know about numbers by now it, it simply means this. how it looks like okay how it looks like there are around 72,000 nebels in the human body so if you go to the human body there are 72,000 nebels if you count them you have 72 so please take note of that uh, let me summarize and then we'll bring today's uh, lecture to an end because it's almost 10 o'clock the chakra is any location where two or more nebels cross over a chakra looks like a spinning wheel or decks as we have a cd decks that is how a chakra is okay or a wheel that is how a chakra looks like god willing uh, next week you see all the all of them and how they look like there is an optimum speed for your chakra to be spinning at okay 
there is a certain speed so if let's say you are going 20 kilometers per hour that is the if that is the balance chakra and then you go 50 that is imbalance if you go 10 it's also imbalance you have to be accurate you have to be on point so next week you will understand all that there are many minor chakras in the human body i've already explained this okay because th this nebis goes all the way to our toes and everything and they cross but the most uh, important that we recognize them are the the seven chakras as i name them to you from the root to the crown those are the ones that we'll be discussing god willing from next week um basically uh, i thank you all for coming to class uh, for those of you who are always uh, writing to me reverend why are you always teaching in the Ghanaian language we don't understand uh, we are starting chakras we are starting the seven chakras and i'm giving you the foundation the basic understanding so that when we talk about the casual body, you know what it is because I've already explained it to you today. And when we start it, God willing, next week, I hope it will be a blessing to you and your family. Wherever you are, uh, maybe you might be going through certain issues that are beyond you. You are trying whatever that uh, you hear or whatever solutions you hear on click and it is still standing. Please, what you can do is uh, just uh, contact the front desk of Click TV. Contact the front desk of Click TV and then just tell them you want to meet with Reverend. You are having, uh, you need an appointment and with Reverend. Uh, the lady will talk to you and then make you book an appointment with you and ask you when I'm available, uh, you can come and meet me so that whatever that is there, we'll be able to discuss it. So uh, please. You can just call the number on the screen wherever you are just come and let's meet and i know with the faith that i have in the creator you will not go back with the same issue again may the creator bless you may mother earth bless you in abundance with a, a lot of honey in your life so that whatever that you do will be prosperous god will in tuesday will meet but remember that tomorrow between three to four i will come your way with another version of the click telegram account or the Ghanaian language uh, I wouldn't give you the topic it will be a surprise and I know it will be a blessing to you as well God willing we'll meet Tuesday bye bye <music>